This video is brought to you by Nate Productions. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. During this tutorial I'll be demonstrating you how you can make a player or your character move in your game according to the direction of it, uh, where it's facing. So currently I have this cylinder or my player in essence in this project and if I press right you can see that it's moving towards the direction and if I'm rotating around and pressing the W you can see that it moves forward uh, as you would expect with the direction. So uh, we want to be rotating around the Y axis so if you look on the inspector you can see that when I'm moving left and right you will see the Y axis only changing. We don't want to change on the X so that will look weird as you can see it will move something like that or on the Z either so something like this will look again very weird so we're only rotating on the Y axis and let's see how you can do that so we're going to need two scripts one is the movement 3D and the camera rotation is the other and let's open those up and I'll just demonstrate very quickly on how you can do that first of all we have the move movement 3D which I covered briefly on a previous tutorial and I slightly changed it in order to uh, put in the camera and the rotation so we have three variables, the rigid body, the speed, and the on-ground, which we don't need. It's for jumping, and we can ignore that for now. Then we get the rigid body, then the speed setting it to 10. And then we capture the input on the horizontal and the vertical axis, which you can find in the project settings and input manager. And this is essentially the A and D for left and right, and this is the W and S for the uh, moving forward and backwards. Then we are changing the velocity based on the input of the x-axis, multiplying it by the speed. And then the transform ride, which is essentially uh, responding to the direction of the transform rotation. And vice versa with the forward. So if you want, this really takes uh, into account the left and right and the essentially the A and D. And for the moving forward and backwards, which is the W and S, we have this which is doing the exact same thing but for forward and using the uh, y of the vector 2 that we created here and the vertical. So this is responsible for moving and for rotation. We have this script here which is again very simple. It has a float which is called delta, delta rotation and a rigid body which is again the same as the other one. It gets the rigid body on the start function and then locks the cursor at start function. So if you don't want the cursor to be moving around left and right and you're not going to be using it in your game, you don't want to be uh, seeing the cursor moving around like this when you're trying to rotate your camera. So thus, you're locking the cursor mode uh, in the middle and setting it to invincible. This is all done automatically through this. And in the update function, the delta rotation is uh, adding values based on the axis, which is the mouse X. So when I'm moving my left, mouse left and right, it will capture this and add it to the existing number of the delta rotation, as you can see here by the plus sign. And then we're calling the move rotation of the rigid body and passing in a quaternion Euler, which is essentially a, a rotation. And we're only changing the Y axis of this rotation. We are, we're ignoring the X and Z and passing in the delta rotation. So that is it. Very simple scripts. And you can just write them yourself. So I'll just zoom out and let you take a look at this and just to demonstrate one last time on what uh, our script is doing running this you will see that I'm moving left and right like this and it moves accordingly to the rotation and the spawning of the spheres are from another tutorial and I'll link that in the, the end of the video if you are interested for now thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed if you did Make sure to subscribe for following videos. If you have any requests for any tutorials, make sure to comment them below. Anyway, goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Want to become a professional game developer? I designed the ultimate game development course that will teach you everything you need to make your own top quality games with over 20 hours of content and 100 lectures at your disposal. Make sure to check the link in the description for more information.